more than two decades, France has reigned as the world's most popular tourist destination, receiving 90 million foreign tourists annually. People from all over the world are drawn to France's sophisticated culture, exquisite cuisine, fine wines, romantic chateaus, and picturesque countryside. Many people immediately picture Paris when they think of France, while the country's capital is a beautiful city filled with the country's most recognizable monuments. There's a lot more to see around the country than just one city. Here's a look at the best places to visit in France. Number 10, Cagny. Up until the 19th century, Cagny was just a quiet fishing village, but today, it is a glamorous seaside city made world famous by the annual Cannes Film Festival every May. When Cannes hosts the film festival, hordes of fans flock to see the rich and famous in person as the celebrities walk the red carpet up the steps of the Palais de Festival, where thousands of films are screened. Leading up to the Palais de Festival is the beautiful waterfront promenade that is lined with palm trees, upscale hotels, restaurants, and designer shops like Gucci, Chanel, and Dior. Number 9. Marseille, one of Europe's oldest cities in France's second largest city. Marseille is a major Mediterranean seaport located off the southeast coast of France, boasting an idyllic climate, Roman ruins and medieval architecture. Marseille is also a working city with several universities and industries at the core of Marseille is its old port dominated by two historic forts. This bustling harbor is lined with waterfront cafes, shops and bars, one of Marseille's best natural attractions. The Kalong are a series of small inlets with astonishing blue water and majestic limestone cliffs. Number 8. Carcassonne. Once you set foot within the town limits of Carcassonne, you'll understand how it came to inspire the strategic board game that bears the same name. The ancient town has been impeccably preserved over the centuries, so each step along the cobblestone streets feels like another step back in time. Among the lush green trees are fortified walls, eclipsed by towers that sparkle under the French sun. It's a fascinating journey back to the Middle Ages, where the streets guide you to historic sites, often deserted passageways, and castle-like walls. Number 7. Ezaaz is a fortified medieval village that sits 1400 feet above sea level overlooking the beautiful Mediterranean Sea, with its lovely villas covered in bougainvillea and cobblestone streets. Ezaaz is a, a charming and very photogenic town. Getting to the top of the village with its narrow cobblestone streets is a bit of a climb, but well worth the effort. When you reach the top, you'll be rewarded with a pretty cactus garden and stunning views of the Mediterranean. Take time to visit the old church with its Egyptian cross said to be a reminder of the Phoenician temple that once stood there. Number 6. Lyon, the third largest city in France, is located where the Rhône and Seine rivers join. Its strategic location has enabled it to attract merchants to the city ever since it was founded by the Romans in 43 BC. An orderly and sophisticated place, Renaissance buildings dot the streets, and Lyon seamlessly mixes the new with the old, with a rich cultural heritage that encompasses gastronomic delights and fine architecture. Lyon Cathedral is one of the most impressive sites. The old town is lovely to walk around, so make sure to try some of the sumptuous cuisine before you continue on your way. Number 5. Avignon Famous for the popes that set up shop in the city after fleeing Rome in the 14th century, Avignon was the capital of the Catholic Church for a period during the Middle Ages. 
While the colossal Gothic palace that the popes built is impressive for its size, the ramparts, towers, and gates that line the old town are also fantastic to view. The old part of the city is beautifully enclosed by the Rhone River that snakes its way around it. A great time to visit is during the art festival in July, though you will have to battle your way through the crowds at this popular destination. Number 4. Mont Saint-Michel Rising up from the midst of vast mud flats is the rocky island of Mont Saint-Michel, located off of France's northwestern coast in Normandy. The medieval structures on the island are built as if stacked upon one another and crowned with the star attraction, the Abbey of Mont Saint-Michel. The awe-inspiring abbey was built by devoted monks in 708 AD after the Bishop of Avranches was allegedly visited by the Archangel Michael. The bay around Mont Saint-Michel is famed for having Europe's highest tidal variations. Number 3. Dordogne. Unless you have weeks or months to spend in this scenic region of southwestern France, you're going to pick and choose the things you want to see. There is just so much to see and do here, beginning with picture postcard villages and chateaus, including the well-preserved Chateau de Benac, a hilltop castle. The scenery is pretty awesome too with the Dordogne River running through it. The Dordogne also has some of the best prehistoric cave art in France. Number 2. Nice Located on the French Riviera, Nice is constantly bathed in sunshine. As the fifth largest city in France, it has a vibrant mix of cultures. During the day, travelers can enjoy a stroll through its historic center or find a place along Nessie's Pubilly beaches to take in the beauty of the Mediterranean Sea. Walking along the famous Promenade des Anglais and gazing out over the turquoise waters is simply heavenly, a charming place to spend some time. Nice has something for everyone as it combines city life with a beautiful setting. Number 1. Paris Attracting more than 45 million visitors annually, Paris is the world's most popular tourist destination. Situated on the banks of the Seine, the elegant and stylish capital of France is a romantic place, with lovely boulevards, beautiful buildings, and sights like the Eiffel Tower and the Notre Dame Cathedral rising towards the heavens. From the stunning art collections at the Louvre to the eerie catacombs beneath the streets and the breathtaking Notre Dame Cathedral, you could spend a lifetime getting to know all of Paris's wonderful sights.